Hi, it's Thanksgiving coming up and we've just got these cute little cards that we've made using the Brother Scan and Cut and so we're going to show you how to create the pattern in the Scan and Cut canvas and then how to cut them out and assemble them. So let's get to it. Let's get on and make the turkey shape for our card. So I'm coming over here to the basic patterns and what I'm going to do is select the shape here and bring it over and I'm going to make this 370 as you can see at the moment it's 394 I'm going to put maintain aspect ratio on because I want it to be the same all round and then I'm going to bring over the spade shape and I want the spade to be to just take out that bottom circle so I'm going to highlight both shapes and press subtract. I just want it to sit nicely behind the turkey without too much bulk so that's my first shape. I need three of these so this is going to be the second shape and the size of this one is going to be three so just completely three and again I'm going to bring over the spade And just take it and again I'm going to press subtract and that's my second shape and then we want one more and this one I'm going to make 250 and again just bring it the spade over and just adjust it so it takes out that bottom circle. Highlight both shapes and press subtract. So that's my three lots of feathers. Now we're going to make the turkey. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring over a circle and I'm going to make that circle 1.10 by 1.05. Now I don't want it to maintain the aspect this time because I have different sizes that I want to keep. So I'll just unselect that. Okay, that's going to be my turkey's head. So now I bring over another circle. And this one I'm going to make 180 by 160. Again, we're not ticking the maintain aspect ratio because they're different sizes. Okay, so that's the body of my turkey. And now I'm just going to overlap them. So I bring it up to about, oh, about halfway, just under. And then highlight both and what I'm going to do is weld. So weld the two and I have the turkey shape. Now I want my turkey to be 253 by 160. So it wasn't too far out. So there we go. Now if you want you can put some eyes in there. So let's see they'd probably be really small but I'll just drag them in so I can just see very very tiny eyes. Nuisance. And probably yeah, this might be a bit big so I'll take it down even a tad more. Let's make it say 15 by 15. Oops. And we want to maintain the aspect this time because we want it to be a circle. So here we go. And we'll just duplicate it 15 by 15 this time. Okay, so we've got some eyes there. And we might want to put in a nose, so maybe we'll bring over a triangle. So we'll come up here to properties and we'll do, we'll turn it right round, 180 degrees. And then just drag it down till it's tiny because we don't want a very big nose. It can even be a lot smaller than that. And always remember when you're dragging, 
to press the shift key so it keeps it all in proportion because otherwise you'll end up with it all over the place. Oops, let me just undo that. Okay. And we want it to be the same size so we'll just make it all 19. So there we go. So he's got a little nose that'll cut out when we just yeah. There we go. So this is going to be our turkey now because we've got some bits there we need to group them so we can move the whole thing together. So I'll just group it and move it. And then we can just show you what it looks like. So this is how he's going to look. I have three sets of feathers behind him which we're going to do in different colours to make it look pretty. But we won't join it or group it because we're going to keep them separate so each piece cuts separately. I just like to then arrange them across the, the page and we'll take it over to the brother scan and cut and cut those pieces out. So I have my pattern on my USB stick and I'm going to put that into the side of the brother scan and cut. There's a slot there for it. And just push that in nice and firmly. I come back here and I'm going to select pattern and saved data and then this is the USB icon. And here's our pattern that we made in the canvas scan and cut. Now we don't want to cut all of these if we're using different patterns for each piece. So what we'll do is go OK and go to the icon at the top here. Now I'm going to delete each of these patterns. It's not going to take them off your USB stick. It's just taking them out of the scan and cut here at the moment. And I'm just going to move that across. You don't have to, but just make sure it's not too near the edges so that it cuts nicely. I press OK and that looks good so I press OK again, cut and cut. There we have our first set of feathers. So you're going to do this with each set. So from here you have to go to home and press OK and go back through the process again. Find our pattern. OK and then once again what you'll do, and we've done that one so we can just delete that and we might do the next I'm not going to cut any further, but I'm just showing you what to do. Okay, so once you've deleted those, then you'll go and you'll cut this out of your next piece of paper, and so on, until you have all the pieces cut. Right, so we have our pieces cut out now, and we have our card and our little bit of um, embellishment we've got in the middle there. So I'm just going to put that aside, and we're going to be working on this bit first. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually draw that um, edging. As you can see on one of these, we've got that sort of watercolour sort of edging around there. So I'm going to use these wet or dry pencils here and I'll go with a I'll go with the purple. So all I do is just create a thin edge all around the whole square here. Don't want to make it too thick. You don't really have to make it too thick with this these sort of pencils. Mind you it depends on the look you're going for. Anyway you might want is to be a little bit thicker. Not sure whether this would just we will work with regular pencils. It may. So you can give it a try. So I'll go and grab one of these wet wipes and just smudge it along like that. See how it creates that sort of watercolour effect. You could just use um, just a wet towel too, you don't need to have specifically have these wet ones, wet wipes, but these work quite well. Alright, so that's done. Now our next step is to put the stamps on. So as we said before, we've got this Treasure the Memories one. 
and this is the little sort of reedy plant looking thing. So I'm going to stamp this with a black ink at the very top here. So I'm going to pop that on. Now my only problem with the stamp is that it's got this line along it and I don't really want that line to show up, that line there, so I'm just going to get my wet wipe and try to take that away without destroying the rest of the stamp. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm going to pop it in this top corner. If you've got, you probably want to go look for one that says Happy Thanksgiving. We just could not find one here in Australia, or at least not in our town. There we go, that looks great. So pop that away. So the next step is to do this little plant here. So I'm just going to grab that and dab this colour on. quite like this colour, it's kind of very subtle, so you just barely see it. So I'm going to pop one of these over here somewhere. Like that. And I want a couple on this side as well. It's good because I just I just barely want them to show up. And it will depend on the background colour you use as to what colour you use. Because you can see on the brown one here we used a darker green because it was brown. But on this one here we've used the, the green I'm using now. Depends will depend on your background colour as to what colours you use. And I'm going to just pop this one sort of here. Like that. Okay, so our stamping is done. Now we need to add the ribbon. So we've chosen, we've gone with this one here, and what we want to do is put a, another colour on top of it, so that just really makes it pop. So I'm going to get my scissors, and just want enough to, to wrap around the edges, so make sure you don't cut it too short. You want enough just to be able to wrap around about there. Grab my glue tape and I want to stick this onto the other bit of ribbon so I'm just going to run this down. This is really a quick and easy card to make. It looks great. Okay, once that's on now I want to actually stick it onto there. So I need some more glue. So I want it about there. And then I flip it over and just curl in the edges. You won't see this part because this will be stuck down on the main card. Okay, so we're getting there. Then we'll bring our card back. So what we want to do now is attach that to there. So grab my glue again. Sometimes these things just don't want to work. Get them to the corners so that they don't curl up. That should be right. Okay. So I want to centre this as much as possible. Okay, I'm almost there. Now I want to get our turkey on. Now you can edge these. You can see some of these we've edged them. And all we did to do that was grab our, like an ink pad, or you could grab a pencil, 
and just drag the edges across. I'm not going to worry about it now, but you, all you do is just run it along that way like that. And you can do it with any colour you like, and it just gives it a bit of a um, defined edge. Um, but I'll just keep going. So what I want to do is stick this one on here first. piece now I could just glue this on if I want with this but I'm going to use these little adhesive um, 3d effect sort of tabs these are great so they're sticky on both sides so you just peel off kind of peel off the top and you've got both sides are sticky now I'm just going to place one here you will probably want to put a few more and maybe uh, four here just to give it a bit more stability especially if you're posting this to someone you don't want it falling to pieces. I'm just going to pop one just to quicken up this video. So you pop it like that. So make sure your V marks are lined up here. Grab the next one and do the same thing. Again, I'm lining up those marks, the V here. And the last one. that all done see how quick that and easy that was it's really a quite a nice little effective card and really done really quickly and if you want to color in the eyes and the mouth or the beak you can do that you can see in this one here that we've colored in the eyes and the beak yeah I just used a pencil basically to yeah. color that in but you don't even have to um, cut these out if you don't want you can no. leave it um, whole draw your own eyes and mouth or alternatively cut little eyes and you know, add little eyes. You can buy even buy eyes that you can add, you know, and that sort of thing. So it's all up to you. But really quick and easy and um, just a fun little um, Thanksgiving card.